What's up everyone, Josh here with Ohio Fish Rescue. Today we've got a special guest in house and uh, he's doing something pretty exciting. So let's go take a look. All right, so we're walking in. Who do we have here? We've got Brian, Brian Barczyk. I know, coming no, to no, the no, fish no. He was talking about me. You got big <laughs> Rich over here, that's it. Yeah, he was starting the show over here. But, so yeah. we're actually discussing, well, Brian's actually discussing plans. Last time my dad was up there, he expanded the reptarium yep. twice the size. Yep, twice. And you are now talking hey, wait, about... If you guys haven't seen the reptarium, oh my God. I went in there and I was blown away. Everything looked so natural. All the pens, all the cages, everything was like natural. It was amazing. Well, thank you so much. And now it's like I said, twice that size. And the new side has... Wait, like wait, wait. Size. It's twice the size than I've seen? Then you've seen it, yeah. And now we're about to do two and a half times larger than that. So we're adding, actually even more than that. It's about three times the square footage will be added on. Wow. You know, but unfortunately, most of the, you know, half that footage is going to be upstairs. So we're building a complete second deck. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's pretty crazy. And I'll show you the, the plans for it. I've got the plans here I want to show you guys. Okay. Because it's, awesome. it's pretty cool. And, uh, but it's so, a big So wait, endeavor. are you going to have any fish tanks up there? It's, the upstairs is all fish. Really? All, all fish? fish. All, yep. There, there, How, there might be like an alligator tank for like small alligators and stuff like that. But everything else is fish. How many square feet? Hey, Josh. Uh, it's going to be about uh, 13,000 square feet. I know where you can get some fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm coming to talk. I've got a lot to learn, and you guys are the people that can teach me because I don't know enough about this stuff. I mean, I've loved fish my whole life, but I, I obviously, I'm, I'm on a you know a mission to learn as much as I can. So well, now it's going to be the on. reptarium aquarium, right? And we've been messing around. We, so, so I actually, uh, and, and I, hopefully, I will get sued for this, but I actually have the DetroitAquarium.com. So I have the DetroitAquarium.com. Did you copyright it? Uh, I, I got everything, but I don't know if, if like maybe there was some municipality that has it that I don't know about type of thing. Uh, but because there's no Detroit Aquarium right now, right? right. But uh, but but we've also messed around with like the rep le, rep aquarium or rep aquarium. You know, we messed around with a bunch of different like you know yeah. names. We don't know what we can do right now. You'll see with the front facade, they'll have a sign that says reptarium. And the other side will say whatever aquarium or Detroit the aquarium. Detroit. Right. I think right. the Reptarium Aquarium has a pretty nice jingle to yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like an after-school show. That you've done. <laughs> but it's uh, it's going to be great, man. I mean, it's uh, it's it's fun, and this place is looking freaking amazing. This is our our most interesting tank. Uh, there is a yeah, fish. It's beautiful. It's a paradox, right? Like an albino gar slash. Yes. With the uh, uh, what's that called, Josh? That is, uh, call it just a color morph albino. Some refer to it as pie ball, but it's not pie a ball, true pie it. ball. That, okay. Now, is that just a one-off, or can you reproduce that? No, 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 no. Over here. Uh, there's <laughs> another one right here. Oh, my God. That's crazy. Yeah, and this and one Vincent Moore was offered $10,000 for these uh, oh each, God. and he, he decided no, and then he sent them here to us. So are these only two, though? The only two, yeah. Wow. There, there, there is more in the world. It's ju just like reptiles. So fish and reptiles kind of share yeah. the the same yep. genetic morphs. The, this is one morph. This is the xanthic, and that that's an albino. Right. But they, they can go through the same genetic morphs that reptiles go, and you can breed them with, with each yeah, other and increase the chances. But just because you breed an albino python with an albino python, do you always get yes, albinos? It depends on the if the alleles line up right exactly. Right. You know. All right, so I'm gonna stop you right here. So the camera is usually on Brian. So I'm gonna ask you a question. What's your favorite tank here? I know you've already walked around. You've looked at them. This is your first time here, correct? Yes. All right. So first time being here. What's your favorite tank? That's a really hard question. You're putting me on the spot. <laughs> um, now, obviously, like that cichlid tank is pretty amazing. I love obviously the size and the color. Like it's beautiful. But I'm not gonna lie. From a fish standpoint. One in the other room, I like a little bit better. <laughs> so you're talking about the the, the monster pond? Um, yes. Awesome. Well, that is crazy, but I think it was. You've got. You've got so take a look. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm bad with fish. Like, That's all right. <laughs> but as far as like fish in the thing, like obviously these guys back there. Oh, you like the koi? Yes. 
Yes. So They're yes. A little bit fancier toy. If you actually see that left tank over there and this center tank here, uh -huh. the, these are all fry. When we transported them, uh, really? uh, koi to Shaq's house, his koi spawned here, and these are the offspring from Shaquille O'Neal's koi. That's so cool. I so, didn't realize they were. I knew the bigger one. I thought those were, but I didn't realize these smaller ones. That looks awesome. Yeah. He's so rare. I, I bet you don't have one of those, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> I like them though. You know, you can eat a earthworm. You can have them. They're great. They're good animals. Those have crazy eyes. Are you guys ready to read the cameras? Let me get you this. This is going to be neat. This guy here, this is Hubert, our fly river turtle. But when I pull him out of the water, he's going to slap himself in the head for a while. <laughs> <laughs> he, stop, dummy. Stop! <laughs> when, when he's done, okay, now you can pet him. Now he won't do it. And he's peeing on, on, on you now. Oh, he's peeing on you now. Oh my god. Do the flipper. See, he's got flippers instead yeah. of uh, claws. Yeah. He's actually a, a fully aquatic freshwater turtle. Exactly. It's almost like the, the sea turtle of Australia. You know, it is. From the uh, new yeah. Papua New yeah. Guinea. I've actually swam with these guys in, uh, in the wild, so I know, I know it, it's pretty awesome. So it's cool stuff. But Fly explain to me room. why he slaps himself in the head. He probably needs to see a therapist. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, Eric Pyman. His name is Brutus. Okay. Okay, this is Brutus. I'm going to throw him a little bit of grab. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, Pellets? Pellets. There you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I love Eric Pyman, man. He's so cool. Well, with the size tanks that you're planning on putting in, we can uh, get the air <laughs> so yeah. certainly get you some. He said this is only like two years old. Oh, these two are years old, and we got them at about six inches. Yeah, they Look get... at how huge that is. Yeah. That's crazy. So, so six inches to that in two years. Yes. In two years. Yeah, he'll, he'll, he'll be three in September. Yeah, last that time I was insane. here, he only had, you had the, I think, platinum guards in here and just a couple things. It looks so good. Remember the Shack Toy Babies over there? Right. Oh, and then in the middle there. are the biggest of the Shack Toy Babies. Ah, gotcha. So he had um, brought some toy for Shack. This is all tank here. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm going to interrupt you here for just a second. So you've seen this tank at Aquascape. You're yep. very familiar with it. Yep. If you own this tank, this aquarium, this paludarium, whatever you want to refer to it as, what would you do with this tank? You know what I would do, and it's probably different than what Aquascape would do, I would probably put a big caiman lizard in here. So lizard. take out the walls for the fish tank? No, put the, wa put the walls in. Water well, then this is the they, only fish they tank enjoy the, the water. Yeah, the caiman lizards yeah, are going in and out. They love water. They love water. They spend most so of the water. So leave the land down low behind yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Build okay. it up a little bit. You know, here, so here's the flaw in your theory, son. Okay, tell me. You're not allowed no alligators here in Ohio. Cayman <laughs> lizard. It's a lizard. It's a lizard. It's not a cayman lizard. Oh, what's it? It's actually lizard. They call them a cayman lizard, but they're okay. actually a lizard. They're I thought you were talking about a cayman alligator. No, they're not. A, it's a cayman lizard. It's green with a red head. Beautiful lizard. They get about maybe three foot long. They love to uh, climb, but they also love to walk. Okay. So they'll spend some time terrestrial. They'll spend some time on the branches. They'll spend some, and it's, they're beautiful. I'll show you a picture. Okay. I'll show you a picture. Yeah, yeah they are really cool, man. Yeah. I'll look into that. Yeah. They're like, you know, like that. For those of you that don't know, that is a caiman lizard. Yeah, it's pretty. They're pretty cool, you know. You're right. And, and they're really awesome awesome. looking. Yeah. This was more of, like a uh, community fish tank. Makes sense. Tetras, glowfish, you know, that kind of stuff. A little bit of everything. Yeah. But not on here. Yeah. Um, there's still some in there that aren't, but you know, as we get more, we're going to fill it with butterfly and then take out the other. Yeah. yeah. Now, normally it's not this muddy, but since it's not landscape, all it this rains, mud's rinsing in. All, all morning, so it uh, turns our pond. Line? 300 foot. <laughs> it goes over our back pond, over our front pond, over the river, over the, the fire. The woods, the grandmother's house. That's right. <laughs> this, is, this is like a, a plain land. Is what this, is. <laughs> this is the reptarium now. So, so, so these are the plans these for are the, the plans. expansion. Yep. So right now when you came, this is all we had right here. Now we right, have... Let me look. Yep. I, I walked, so, it. yes, there was around and then back. Yep. And then this is the turtles right here. Right, exactly. Now we have this whole thing. So that wasn't there before. So now we have this. And this wasn't there. This has always been ours, but it's been the BHP Reptile Breeding Company. So we're expanding. So right now we have this. So we're expanding this way. So we'll have the entire floor of reptiles. 
The fish, essentially, this is the first iteration, but we're actually going further out with this tank here. So this is the Stingray tank here. We're actually gonna do some cylinder tanks here, a cylinder with some touch tanks here, and then these will be like big tanks all along these walls and stuff like that. So we're still working on the layout here, but now this is actually gonna be out further, and you can see the front elevation here. This is a bowed window, right, That's all, that goes with the same flow as the Stingray tank. Okay. Okay, and like I said, this is 29 foot by 23 foot, six foot deep here. Oh, so uh, it's not going to be like a petting ray tank, it's which are be usually more like shallow. A, it's going to be like more of a swimming tank. But this ramp here will start on the ground and it'll go up so that kids or whatever can go and touch and they can swim up to them, right? So, and they can pat uh, so that's going to be like taller that. with like a foot or two of water here? It's, exactly. So the stingrays can come up on top and right. you can pet them. Right, exactly. Petting here, swimming here. Gotcha. You know, and then but uh, and then you'll see like the stingray tank. But don't don't pay any attention to the shark because that didn't make any sense when my guy drew this. It's like, well, water doesn't flow that way. You can't put a tank on top right. of a tank. He didn't realize that. But we'll have like you know skylight over this. The the elevation here again. You can see this is a little bit out. This is the actual front elevation then. So you can see that's oh, the wow. bow. So this was your original door. This is the original door. And you're, so you're going that way and this way and then up. Yep. This is going to be amazing, Brian. Yeah, so this is a almost, it's about 18 foot high this way and about 20 foot across this way, bowed out. And this and then, of course, all the glass here, glass here. Um, so, yeah, that's the... That's going to be professional yeah, looking. Yeah, it's going to look really good. And then the back of the building, uh, we're not doing a whole lot. This is existing, but we're going to bust this out. You can see in that front elevation, you can see how this comes out like this. Yeah. Right now, it's straight across, so we, we build this out so that we have... Uh, a full bank of, of windows here and here so that you can see through so that when you walk Entice in the back way people yeah, Ooh, so, I want to see yeah. what's in there. Yeah, so it's uh, so that's that's the, the initial drawings <laughs> I, got a I got one question. Why are you wet? Oh my god Are you ready? <laughs> Hang on one second. I'll give you an answer. Okay, let him get his camera on. Oh my god Okay, are you guys ready? You want to know the answer to why I'm wet? Here's the answer, okay? Never trust my son, Josh, ever! <laughs> You're a full flat younger than I am. All right, You're so Brian just went swimming in the monster pond. He said that wasn't enough, and now he's getting no. in the 4400. Woohoo! <laughs> It's like swimming in ice, though, right? There's only a little opening. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Remember what we said about the mermaid? There you go. There you go. You're Make sure you come back in that little opening. I do like it, how I, free he is. Right I don't now. think people won't want to come and see this mermaid, though. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be surprised. You know? Yeah, there's a couple people. There's a couple people from out here that do it. <laughs> This is going to be the one. I'm though, so excited. Right? Pop the <laughs> Go down under and wave. Yeah, I got it. You ready? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You're good. All right, guys, so what wasn't this fun? Got to see Brian going both the, the Monster Pond and the 4400. So yeah. how was it, Brian? I tell you what, this is the coolest experience I've had in years. I mean, literally, this was unbelievable. Awesome. Well, it's been, been a pleasure to have you d down here. You know, it's, it's been, what, over a year and a oh, half, gosh, maybe? Oh, gosh, yeah, a couple years at least, yeah. So, you guys, well, actually, the last time you were down here, we had you just, just finished the Monster Pond. So, that was almost two years ago. Yep. But I can say it was my pleasure. Glad you came down. If you guys want to see more awesome videos with the Ohio Fish Rescue, maybe even some more future collabs, Brian Barczyk. You guys are going to have to stay, stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. And as always, stay, stay fishy, fishy, my friends. <laughs>